Okay. Got another paranormal story time for you. Um, this one is really fresh, and this one really messed me up, actually. Um, like, I was really freaked out about it, but let's get right into it, I guess. Um, so recently, I don't know, within the last couple weeks, I went out to get sushi with a friend, and it was so lovely. We had so many great conversations about, like, the universe and, um, you know, the 1% and basically how to make the world a better place. We were very openly talking about dimensions and the planet and everything like that. You know, the kind of stuff that the 1% and the elites and the, the powers that be don't want you talking about in public loudly, um, that they don't want you shining light on. Um, but it was amazing. We had great conversation and he actually shared with me a story about when his grandmother had visited him recently while he was asleep. And so, you know, we were just really exchanging some great stories. But anyway, that night, I went to sleep, like usual, saying my prayers and everything that I usually do. And I woke up at exactly 1.30. I woke up from a dead-ass sleep. I don't even remember what I was dreaming about, which that never happens to me. Like, never. I always remember my dreams, um, but I just shot awake. Suddenly, I just shot awake. And my hands were like this on my stomach because, I don't know, I guess I was sleeping like this, even though that's kind of weird. But they were like this, and so I shot awake, and I, I opened my eyes. And my room is dark, but I also, I also usually leave my salt lamp on, so it's, like, not too dark, so I can see a little bit. I would like to say, too, that I had been sleeping with the windows open so it was really hot and I didn't get my AC in the house yet so I was like all the windows to my house were open um and so my windows open in my room and I'm laying there and I'm looking around a little bit confused I don't know what time it is yet I'm still just like I'm freshly woken up all the damn sudden I get this feeling of chills run over my whole body. I get this tingling, numb feeling over my entire body and this feeling of sickness and like dread and fear. And my hands suddenly, I have no control over them, they are freezing and numb. And suddenly my hands slowly start to lift off of my body with my palms up, like floating floating off of my body and I'm laying there and I'm like panicking and I'm like because <gasps> you know like I'm a psychic I'm a spiritual worker I work with spirit every damn day I talk to spirit every day but do they ever fucking touch me do they ever fucking take over my body no no like I channel them but I'm always like have control over my body so like this was new territory for me so my hands are floating and I'm like, <gasps> I'm heavy breathing. I can't breathe. I'm terrified. And all of a sudden I remember like, oh yeah, like this is what I'm supposed to do. So I start banishing. I very, very quickly, I say, I banish anything that is not here for my highest and greatest good. And I call upon my, my angels. I called them out by name, my guardian angels. And I also called out for Jesus Christ. And I, and I said that this entity has no power in this home. And literally my hands went, fell on my body. The curtain to my window flew out as if something went out the window. And I was just laying there so scared, so scared, dude. And I fucking flipped on my lights. I text my friend. I'm like, oh my God, like the, something paranormal just happened to me. Blah, blah, blah. He texts me back at 1.30 in the morning. He's like, what happened? I tell him and he's like, okay, I don't really know how to handle that. Are you going to be okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just scared. Like, I'm fine. I'm just scared. So I started getting this terrible headache. Like, in the left side of my head. I always know I'm under spiritual attack when the left side of my head starts hurting. So I get this horrible headache, horrible jaw ache, ear ache. Just like the whole left side of my head is aching and throbbing. And I'm like oh my god, and I just keep banishing, and I'm having a hard time breathing, and I'm just, ugh, I feel so sick. And I come into my kitchen, and I get my uncrossing oil, like uncrossing oil will uncross curses, uncross spirits from you. And I, 
I pray over it and I just a little bit because I'm like about to pass out and I take it and I anoint myself with it and I anoint the back of my neck with it, the sides of my neck, my forehead, like I anoint my body with this oil and I continue to pray to my angels and to Jesus and to any, any protectors that I have. Um, and the second that I swear to God, the second that that oil touched the back of my neck, it eased up. Like it was still there, but it eased up. And then the more I put it on myself, the easier, like the better I started to feel and the easier it started to get to function, to be able to take some Advil, drink some water and gather myself. Um, but yeah, I felt like it was interesting because for the next... I want to say week I was woken at 1 30 a.m. every night to my body starting to feel numb to which I would start to banish anything that it was not there for my highest and greatest good and call upon my angels and tell them tell this thing that was trying to attack me that they are no match for my protectors my guards my guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, and protectors, they had nothing on them. I called a lot on Arch Archangel Michael as well. He has my back, and he really helped me trample on those demons. But I almost felt like somebody was sending it, like, it really felt as though somebody was sitting down at, like, 1.30 every night and, like, doing a ritual or something to send me negativity. Either that or this was an entity that was thriving at that time exactly but yeah so that was a trip that was like really crazy and I don't know I'm still kind of messed up from that one um it was just I don't know it was just really scary like I said I never really have entities mess with my body they never really take over my body but you know it taught me how powerful I am it taught me that my, you know, my body is a temple and these negative energies can't get to them as long as I remember how, what I'm supposed to say and how I'm supposed to protect myself and how I'm supposed to pray. And I also had friends come together and pray for me and do very nice things for me and send me blessings and, you know, send me their positive energy, which really helped to chase this thing out. But I asked my spirits, because I have several gatekeepers at my door, several gatekeepers at my door. And I have salt on all the window planes, and I have, like, water to collect negative energies. You know what I'm saying. Like, I've got stuff to protect my... Like, this is a witch's house. This house is protected. So, I asked my gatekeepers who I work with, I said, what the heck happened? How did that thing get in? And one of them said, I'm sorry, but that thing snuck in through the window. I couldn't... There was nothing I could do. It snuck in behind, behind my back through the window. And, um... Yeah, so I since have gotten my air conditioner in and I now have my window shut most of the time and if they are open and I'm just like enjoying the night air, I make sure that the window in my bedroom is shut because I don't need anything sneaking in through the back of my house. Um, but yeah, that was my most recent, I would say, brush with the paranormal. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this. If you like, feel free to like. If you want, subscribe. If you feel like it, leave me a comment, whatever, you know, but yeah, thanks for listening. Um, thanks to all my viewers, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks to everybody who is kind to me and gives me nice messages, and yes, I hope to see you again sometime. Alright, bye!